Hello and welcome to today's fountain pen review. I'm reviewing another pen today from Kaweco. Now Kaweco is a brand, Germany, since 1883 that obviously has a long history. Lots of different ownership and all those kinds of things. Uh, but this is a pen I've wanted to review for a while. It comes in this sort of traditional box and metal tin case. Uh, it is a lovely pen. It is a special pen. It is the Kaweco Special. So this is the black anodized version. There are a couple of different versions of this that you can get. Uh, you can get one that's brass. There was the 2022 uh, beautiful red with, version with the gold trim, which looked absolutely stunning. Really nice pen. We're gonna cover the parts and features, do a writing sample, all of that kind of stuff. Starting at the top of the pen, we get a little uh, metal medallion there that says Kaweco with their logo. These little like grooves around the top of the uh, cap. Then the entire body is completely straight up and down with these lovely crisp, uh, facets and it's octagonal and the pen is designed by Kaweco as a sleek slim design a little bit of branding there that's okay uh, the Kaweco special FP for fountain pen in Germany um, there's a little o-ring in here where the uh, cap screws on and then we've got these little posting threads here on the end and a little sort of domed end cap there the cap unscrews in about three and a half turns, which might be too many for some people, and reveals a very small section. Some little, let's say there's a little O-ring, some threads, a small plastic section, and then uh, I've got a medium nib here, but it's a small uh, nib, and the plastic feed there with the, uh, once again, with the Kaweco uh, logo on it. Now, as I said, I have this in medium, and it comes commercially in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad, and I have seen evidence of a double broad around uh, on this pen, I uh, couldn't find one when I was filming this video. Uh, but you can also get a range of nibs like the calligraphy nibs from Kaweco that will fit this pen. It's the same size nib as things like the Kaweco Sport. Uh, so just things to keep in mind. Now, the pen is a cartridge converter pen. And it unscrews, unscrews here on some nice threads. Uh, I've got a Kaweco cartridge in here at the moment, with Kaweco Blue ink in there. Uh, it will take a standard international long uh, converter as well which is lovely, but you do need to be aware that Kaweco pens tend to be a little bit picky about the converters they accept. So you might need to try a couple before you find one that is a really good fit. A lot of the times with these things, it's best to go with the brand. So perhaps try getting a Kaweco brand converter as well. As I said, the pen screws to post on those threads and they're nice and secure. It makes a very secure posing. It makes quite a long pen and that sleek slim design is very much highlighted when this pen is posted. In terms of the elements of the pen, that's kind of about it. It's a slim, simple, almost minimalist design from Kaweco. There's no clip. It doesn't need a roll stop or anything because it's hexagonal, it's octagonal, so it will not roll away too far. Um, but it is a quite a simple pen. It also is available as a mechanical pencil and rollable ballpoint versions as well. So there's a few options around. If this is the kind of design, that you enjoy, check it out. Size comparison here with the Lamy Safari. You can see it is a long pen. It is longer than the Lamy Safari by a couple of millimeters. However, unposted, it is a little shorter. Still comfortable, but just a little shorter. And then when posted, it is longer by a few millimeters once again than the Lamy Safari. That posting on the end of the pen, like screwing onto threads there, Pens that traditionally do this do tend to be on the slightly longer side when they are posted. So what are the specs of the Kaweco Special Fountain Pen? Well, 142 millimeters when it is capped. Uncapped, it's 123, which for most people will be a comfortable length in the hand. And when posted, it's 169, which is long. It doesn't feel unbalanced, but it is long. The grip section, however, is eight millimeters, which is small. The entire width of the barrel is only 10 millimeters. So it's a slim pen. The pen weighs 18 grams, 13 in the body and five in the cap. So it's not a super light pen and the balance isn't put off too much when you post it. Let's now do a writing sample. Baco Special, fountain pen version of course. 
We have this in a medium nib and the ink is Kaweco Blue, just from a Kaweco Blue cartridge. So let's do the writing. Okay, not the best handwriting. It's always odd trying to write around, you know, cameras and looking through a lens and things like that. But you get the idea. It writes very smoothly. Kaweco have been known to have some inconsistencies, shall we say, with their nibs. This one writes very well and almost on the wet side, especially for Kaweco and especially with uh, this Kaweco blue ink, which isn't the wettest ink. Reverse writing is actually kind of nice a little bit dry perhaps but nice it is a stiff nib you are not gonna flex all you do is just put a little bit more ink down on the page quick writing it keeps up beautifully there's no issue with this nib the pen writes very very well uh, and it lays down a lovely medium line Perhaps a really good everyday writer if you're someone who is after a slim pen with a small grip section. So let's talk about the price now of the Kaweco Special. Here in Australia, I bought this pen for 179 Australian dollars, which puts it in a pretty kind of high-ish price point, but not out of the realm of normal for a pen like this. In the US, this pen retails on, from a particular online retailer for 100 US dollars, which converted into Australian is 159 Australian dollars. So there is a slight markup for the Australian like import and all that kind of stuff, and we understand that. Uh, at 159 as opposed to 179, this pen is even more attractive. Uh, but I think also perhaps like at a slightly lower price point, this pen would become a real option. So let's now talk pros and cons for the Kaweco Special Fountain Pen. Uh, one con for some people will be that there is no clip. And I I don't know I, 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 if you can get a clip for this pen. A lot of Kaweco pens you can get clips for, so that might be possible. I should have looked into that. Um, but as, it's, as it comes without a clip, I went to put this into a particular pen case with an elastic strap that I would put, you know, things like Lamy's and things into, and it slipped straight through. It wasn't going to stay. So that's just something to kind of be, you know, aware of. A big issue for some people will be this grip section. Now, a few things about it. Firstly, it's very slim. At eight millimeters, it's not much bigger than your standard disposable ballpoint pen. But it's also a very short section, and these threads, while not sharp, you definitely feel them. I have found myself writing this, tending to hold back on the barrel, which also gives a nicer length away from the page than the small Kaweco nib t traditionally gives. So if this little section is an issue, you can hold it further back. And I've been doing that quite comfortably. And that's how I've sort of tended to write with it. But that is a very small, very slim section. The other issue I have with this pen, and this is an issue I have with a lot of pens, is that at this price point, we are talking 179 Australian dollars or 100 US dollars. This pen doesn't come with a converter. It just comes with a cartridge. Now, yes, that means you can get going straight away. Uh, and I used this pen with a converter to start with, but I put the cartridge that came in it uh, for this review simply because like that's the ink that came with the pen and the filling system it came with. Uh, and I will refill that uh, ink cartridge next time I want to use this pen. Uh, but a, a pen at this price point should come with a converter. And personally, I wouldn't mind paying $5 more for the converter just to come with the pen. If companies are able to make pens at the 30, 40, and much lower price point that come with a converter, Kaweco should be able to provide their pens at 100 US dollars with a converter. I understand that culturally, some countries like Germany and parts of you know places like Japan use cartridges more than converters, 
but this is now an international brand. It is distributed widely through parts of the US and in the UK and here in Australia where bottled ink is the primary source of, you know, of fountain pen filling. So just, I don't, I do not, you know, getting off, I'll get off my soapbox, soapbox now, but pens at this price point should come with a converter, I'm just saying. The couple of big pros with this pen, the design is nice and simple. It's, you know, it, it's clean. It does everything it needs to do. It's well built. It's robust because that you know aluminium is strong. That O-ring locks that cap down nice and tight. It's airtight. It's good. It does the once again. It does the job. But the best thing about this pen is how it writes. That nib is lovely. It writes beautifully, smoothly, reliably, consistently. All of that stuff, as a pen at this price point, should do. And from a brand like Caveco here, one of the probably one of the the biggest sort of um not budget but like you know, budget friendly pen brands on the market i will say so just something to be you know it writes well it should do and uh and that's great so this was the kaveco special fountain pen i hope you found this video interesting and useful if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel uh hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that i produce P please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below if you've got something you'd like me to look at, or if there's a way you would like to support this channel by sponsoring your review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.